Beautiful. You gotta love when a 60 power red skull doesn't matter. <laughs> What's up noobs? I'm Greer, this is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna be playing a death wave counter deck. And this one I got from Snapster, AKA Dexter, shout out. And he usually builds some pretty cool decks. So I'm excited to try this one out. Cause like, I like playing death wave, but I've also been seeing it all over the ladder and I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of it. So the idea of this deck is we have Sandman in here, right? Which wrecks death wave decks or any deck that wants to play a lot of cards uh, later on in the game. And since the player can only play one card at a time, we have Ronin in here, which gains plus two power for each card in your opponent's hand. So hopefully they always have a big hand. Ronin gets really big. Maybe then you hit Ronin with Mystique, then you get double Ronin and you just overwhelm them with power. And late game, since they can only play one card, we have Dr. Doom in here. So you can drop a Doom and when they play one card, you're playing three, which is pretty spicy. Early game, we have Sunspot in here because Sunspot's just a great card. And if you don't have a card to play, he just gets stronger and stronger as the game goes on. We have Iceman in here for some disruption. Iceman also one of the best one drops in the game. And we have Psylocke and Psylocke's in here so you can get your Sandman out earlier. So you play Psylocke on two, then you play Sandman on three. And then for the rest of the game, they can't do anything. We also have Zabu in here for the same reason. It makes your Sandman cheaper, but also your White Queen cheaper. And White Queen's always good because it gives you information about your opponent's deck. Uh, this was an interesting inclusion that I thought. Baron Mordo. I don't see anybody playing this card, but I'm, I'm excited that it's in the deck because your opponent draws a card, sets, sets cost to six. So that ensures they're probably going to have that card in hand all game, which will then raise the chances of your Ronin getting bigger. We got Maximus in here. Make sure opponent draw cards. Maybe they can't play all those cards. Again, synergizes well with Ronin. And the best card in the game, arguably, is Arrow. So if you have a big Ronin in a lane and you want to ensure that they don't Shang-Chi or something, put Arrow in another lane, drags the Shang-Chi over. She can't get hit by Shang-Chi because she's only seven power. Uh, pretty spicy play. But if you notice that they're playing a deck that doesn't require them to play a lot of cards, then you probably don't need to play Sandman. So just be aware of what your opponent's playing. Okay, that's pretty much the deck. And by the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button, huh? It would mean the world to me. Also, you'll be my best friend. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, let's hit him with Sunspot. Oh, Clintar is kind of gross. Yeah, I mean, I get, we don't really need Psylocke. I mean, we just need the whatever. They're probably gonna have Killmonger to get rid of this anyway. Dude, I swear. Every time I'm against Death Wave, I never pull Sandman. All right, let's go Maximus, I guess. Okay. Now we can pull, now we can play Sandman, right? Maybe we play Ronin mid. We're winning these two lanes. So I just need to put arrow over here to pull whatever they play over here. And it was death. Perfect read. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's chill.
hit him with uh, Baron Mordo here. Um, I guess we go Psylocke. Do we hit him with Sandman? Maybe Sandman over here. Did my game glitch out or? What is going on? <laughs> Graphic bug much? Okay, let's go with Ronin. I mean, arrow is the most power I can do here. And they retreated. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, let's chill. Um, we can play Baron Mordo, right? Um, I mean, there's not really any point to playing Psylocke, but... Who knows, maybe we can get Sunspot off the top and we can play um, Sunspot then Sandman. Yeah, they want to play a lot of cards, so I'm just going to play Sandman over here. Okay, well, we probably don't play for Atlantis now, so we play Ronin over here. Question is, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the question is they retreat. It's not a question, but it's awesome. Okay, let's go with Iceman. Well, that's upsetting. Play Baron Mordo over here. Maybe we just go Sunspot and chill. I think I just float, right? Hope they don't have Killmonger. Play Ronin here. This is kind of risky though. Gets rid of the lizard. Okay, so we're winning these two, so all I need to do, put arrow over here, and we win, right? Ooh, not enough, even with Onslaught. Let's go, baby. By the way, I was fighting Jesus. <laughs> Dude, what is with all the rock locations today? I'm either getting Lechugia or Subterranea or both. Like, it's unreal. Uh, 
Um, I guess we hit him with Zabu. Luke's bar, not so great. Okay, I'm gonna go with the White Queen. So they're a discard deck. Maybe we go Maximus Sunspot. Dude, if I had to get Sandman, like their final turn would be totally busted. Like they wouldn't be able to do anything. Please, Sandman off the top. Oh my God, asking you shall receive. Probably do something like this. Okay, so we have to win the tie. My best bet is to put Apocalypse here, right? That could low roll because he has so many swarms in hand. And they retreated. <laughs> That's Sandman though. Also, just as a side note, look how many rocks I have in my deck, bro. Not cool. Okay, let's chill. Um, I can just pop out an Iceman. Doesn't have to be on Sinister. Kind of want to save that for my high-powered cards. Okay, let's go with Maximus on Sinister. I have no idea what kind of deck they have, so I'm, I'm just going to risk it and play a Sandman. Mr. Negative. Sandman Rex. That deck, right? We play Ronin here. Black Panther. I reveal first, right? So I play Arrow over here to avoid any Arnim Zola. Yeah, this should work. Whoosh! Get out of here. Rogue? Was not anticipating the rogue. But we win anyway. <laughs> okay, let's chill. Play Zabu. And I go Iceman on Kamertage, maybe. This is not looking great, man. Maybe we go Ronin here. Okay. So we're winning these two. So we play Arrow here. And hope that they, you know, they play somewhere else where I can drag it in. Beautiful. You gotta love when a 60 power red skull doesn't matter. <laughs> Get smoked. So I had a really fun time with this deck. You know, it's uh, it's different than a lot of other decks out there. So 
good on you, Snapster, for making an awesome deck. But it's kind of funny that as soon as I start playing a Death Wave counter deck, then I run into like big Shuri decks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not that you can't win against them. You just got to be sneaky about it. But I did find against Death Wave, if you did not draw Sandman, you were pretty Tostitos. So that's the that's the only downside. But hey, play the deck for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And anyway, GG.